It's something many people fantasize about, having a million dollars. A million dollars certainly opens up more possibilities of what you can do. On our first What a Million Dollars Gets You Around the World show, we looked at the costs of things typically associated with millionaires, such as private islands, yachts, and expensive homes. For this show, we challenged one of our writers to find weird ways to spend a million dollars. Our writer's family has been nagging him to buy some new clothes, so clothing is the first item on his list. His first stop is Rankar Jewelers in Pune, India. He read a BBC article about how craftsmen at Rankar Jewelers custom made a gold shirt for a wealthy Indian businessman named Data Fuge. The velvet lined shirt weighs about 7 pounds. It's made from woven gold cloth and took the labor of 16 people to create it in 15 days. The shirt costs $250,000, so he could buy four of them for a million dollars. However, he considers buying just three gold shirts, so he'll be able to do what Fuge does whenever he wears his gold shirt. Hire a security guard to ensure the shirt stays on his back. The heavy weight of the gold shirts does not appeal to our writer, so he decides to travel to the UK to check out another possibility. Richard Jules of Manchester and Stuart Hughes of Liverpool designed a dark grey suit that's a blend of cashmere wool, silk, and something else. 480 diamonds. Stuart Hughes' retail website says that each single cut gem is half a carat. That together total a massive 240 carats, and the suit took 600 man hours to create. The R Jewels Diamond Edition is supposedly the world's most expensive suit, with a retail price of £599,000 or $760,598.58. The price of the suit includes an all expense paid trip to luxury destinations such as Argon Ciel Saint Lucia. However, the trip does not entice our writer to buy the suit. He thinks about how he'd be better off buying a 4,500 square foot ocean view home in St. Lucia with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, a pool, and jacuzzi for $995,000, or a 3,466 square foot Marassi villa with a view of the Nile and the Mediterranean Sea on Egypt's north coast for $894,521.75. Speaking of real estate, our writer checks out some unusual property in the United States. Instead of buying a mansion, why not buy an entire town? The only catch is that the town is abandoned. There are several ghost towns for sale in the United States. One ghost town a writer can afford to buy is located in Helper, Utah. There's a description of it on Realtor.com. For $199,000, he gets a 154-acre parcel of land that contains the remnants of the old Maple Creek Mine and former mining town of Spring Canyon. Relics of this time can be found on the property, including the foundations of 30 old buildings and a tramway. However, the US is not the only place to buy ghost towns. Our writer could buy the Spring Canyon property as well as an abandoned town in Europe. A home website lists several of them for sale. For instance, the abandoned shepherd's village of Valle Piola in Italy, with a dilapidated medieval church, can be bought for only $592,000. If he wants to buy just one ghost town, he can own the entire Catalan village of Yirth in Spain, which consists of a fully renovated farmhouse and a total of 44 ruined buildings for $805,000. However, even though the towns are empty, that doesn't mean they're cheap. Our writer is scared away from buying them, when he realizes they could easily become a financial nightmare of costly renovations and maintenance. He might not be able to pay for their long-term upkeep even if he turned them into a tourist attraction. All of this shopping has made our writer hungry, so he thinks about getting something to eat. With a million dollars at his disposal, he has the option of eating some of the world's most expensive meals. At a luxury resort called Gran Velas Los Cabos, located on Mexico's Baja Peninsula, he could buy what's considered to be the world's most expensive taco for $25,000. According to Food & Wine, customers get two tacos wrapped in tortillas containing gold flakes, then filled with langoustine, Kobe beef, almas beluga caviar, and a black truffle brie. In addition, the tacos come with a lavish salsa that contains morita chili peppers, ultra premium Lay 925 tequila, and civet coffee. The taco can be paired with a $150,000 white gold and platinum bottle of Lay 925 Pasión Azteca Ultra Premium Anejo Tequila. For about a million dollars, our writer could have 40 of the $25,000 taco dinners, or just five of them with the premium bottles of tequila. However, he did not want to eat even one taco after he learned civet coffee is made of coffee cherries that are partially digested and pooped out by jungle animals called Asian palm civets. Another option is to buy the world's most expensive pudding. 
The Lindeth Howe Country House Hotel in England offers a lavish chocolate pudding that costs $34,000. According to Forbes, it's made of Belgian chocolate, champagne jelly, biscuit joconde, and edible gold leaf. It's styled like a Fabergé Easter egg and decorated with handmade chocolate flowers. It's also served with champagne and strawberry caviar, as well as a bottle of Chateau de Kim, a fine dessert wine that costs around $788 a bottle. What makes this dessert really expensive are the extras, which include a complimentary night stay at Lindeth Howe and an evening meal, as well as an adjustable 18 karat rose gold ring with a deep chocolate colored 2.62 karat diamond. Although he can afford to buy 29 of these desserts, the problem is that he's hungry right now and the pudding has to be ordered three weeks in advance. He'd probably encounter the same problem if he ordered the world's most expensive ice cream sundae, made by Three Twins Ice Cream Company. In order to get the company's absurdity sundae, he not only has to pay $60,000 but also fly to Tanzania in East Africa and then go on a guided climb to the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro, which is the highest peak in Africa. Then he has to wait for the Three Twins Ice Cream founder to make the ice cream by hand with glacial ice from the mountain's summit, according to the company website. At least the sundae's price includes the cost of airfare, five-star accommodations, as much ice cream as you can eat, a souvenir t-shirt made from organic cotton, and a contribution to an African environmental nonprofit. A writer decides to spend the million dollars on something more fun than food and clothes. He returns to the UK to check out a gravity jet suit invented by Gravity Industries founder and CEO Richard Browning. There are nine of these suits on sale at the Selfridge store on Oxford Street in London. According to one lifestyle website, the suit weighs 59 and a half pounds, is powered by five kerosene-fueled gas turbine engines that are fixed to the arms and back of its carbon fiber exoskeleton. The suit allows the wearer to fly at altitudes of 12,000 feet with a top speed of 32 miles per hour. Each suit costs $440,000, so our rider could afford to buy two of them. But why would he want to buy two? He certainly does not want to give one to his girlfriend. He imagines her donning the suit during their next argument, hovering above him trying to get in the last word like the half-woman, half-bird harpies of Greek mythology. The gravity jet suit has other major drawbacks. One of them is that it has a flying time of up to four minutes. Browning also cautions that it consumes a lot of fuel and it's noisy. How high could you go without running out of fuel? How do you refuel if you're in the middle of nowhere? Perhaps those questions are answered in the mandatory training that comes with the purchase price. After going from place to place and leaving empty-handed, our writer decides to spend the million dollars on something he's dreamed about having since he was a kid, a flying car. While there are several models to choose from, he picks one made by a Dutch company called Pal-V International BV. The Pal-V Liberty is a combination of a gyrocopter and three-wheeled roadster. According to Autocar Magazine's website, it has two engines, one for driving and one for flying. It takes about five to ten minutes to switch from driving mode to flying mode and vice versa. On land, its top speed is 100 miles per hour and it has a fuel economy of 31 miles per gallon and a range of 817 miles. In the air, it has a top flying speed of 112 miles miles per hour and can reach a maximum altitude of 3,500 meters and has a range of 310 miles. The Pal-V Liberty costs about 499,000 euros or $560,322 before taxes. Buyers will receive power heating, personalization options, and some flight instruction sessions with their purchase, although he'll have to pay additional money for vehicle insurance, maintenance, and obtaining a flying license. He thinks having this great way to get from his 30-day challenges is worth it. What would you buy if you had a million dollars? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video, What a Million Dollars Gets You Around the World. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.